We'd like to welcome you all again to the world of vibration, introduction to the nation, a revolutionary thought here, the sound evolved, expanding, changing. Most of the things that we saying have been broken through your chatter, so y'all niggas still ego trip based in. Have not begun to taste the time to lay me wisdom, listen, dropping as a lyric and vessel for the sages. Play this on your playlist. I like dope, but musically I'm transcending the physical. And don't blame me for the slang and the word God writes these rhymes through me. I just listen to them. I'm this just is Rodney's land. And as a total boner, I didn't charge my GoPro. So I got all these cool camera angles on the bike and I can't even film it. But anyway, I've got wide open grass to play in. It's fucking sweet. <laughs> take a picture every day and we can time lapse my beard growing and I think it'll be cool. Um, I've been bald before and I did it when I was 19 I started losing my hair and I got a real complex about it so I decided to just shave it bald and just forget about it whatever and it turned out to be really high maintenance ironically enough so I kind of just let it go a little while but uh, yeah so I'm gonna cut it all off and uh, we can watch it grow sometime in the next six months. now because it's half done and I look hilarious but uh so I've been planning on doing this since I wanted to do the trip but I was gonna shave like right before I left Alberta um but as soon as I get to BC I have to shingle a roof and I kind of feel like I should get a base tan going on before I get on the roof so I don't have like a ginger beard that's actually burnt flesh rather than red hair <laughs> so anyway I ain't gonna I'm going to try to make this into a paintbrush. This next bit's kind of fun because the last time I was bald, uh, I had just the goatee on there and I've never been like clean shaven. So I gotta cut this off first. I don't look really good. Shower. 
found photo number one. Kind of funny that I sat on a horse for the first time yesterday because today I got part two of birthday in a saddle for my horse. So I'm gonna do that now and then I'm gonna go see Sydney and get my last range. So one of the secrets with doing a video blog in the middle of nowhere is there's no power. Yes. But there's always power. It just takes a little technology. The beautiful life of a hippie. These are my favorite shorts. Favorite shorts. And like this right here, I warmed work and this is green paint. Just the top of the tree. And so I drew. <laughs> and like I've worn them so much that there's holes in the pockets and there's so these are my patch shorts. Like people have patch pants, these are patch shorts. Right now there's a giant hole in the crotch. And so I'm gonna put some magic patches on it and make these pants work. Long story short, these, this cool like shiny fabric, were my first hippie pants. So those are going to make the crotch roomy so I don't rip it again. So I can rip it and I kick. This is a t-shirt I bought when I was determined on it. And it's got this cool griffin on it. So I'm going to put it right across my butt because it's the only place that it fits. But it's going to hold my shorts back together because I've had them since I went backpacking and they used to be green. So anyway.